I get asked a lot why I call this magnetic propulsion. Well, this motor here is not actually magnetic propulsion. But it leans heavily into the concept of magnetic propulsion for satellites or sea vehicles. Um, this is a compass motor. The pod at the bottom, hanging from the bottom of this thing, that square box with the red dot on it, is filled with magnets. The red dot is the north end of it. So the magnets want to point north. So there's an N20 motor above where the U-coupling is, above that pod, that magnet pod, and the N20 motor spins and pushes against that magnet, and the torque of the magnet in Earth's magnetic field makes the motor on top, the armature on top, spin around. So this is just a concept motor. I don't expect anybody to think it has a practical purpose other than to illustrate just how powerful the torque of Earth's magnetic field really is. Now you're led to believe that Earth's magnetic field is extremely weak, but actually it's only weak in north to south attraction or repelling, north to north repelling, south to south repelling, but the torque that it generates in a powerful magnet to line up with Earth's north and south poles, like a mat, like a compass, that torque is thousands and thousands of times more powerful than just the attraction. So hence you have this motor spinning around at 780 RPM here. So the motor um, is 3D printed, and well, going back to the Earth's magnetic field, it's really very, very powerful, and all life on Earth depends on it. If the magnetic field on Earth disappeared, everybody would die like in a day, and and uh, all life on Earth would die because of the sun's radiation. So you just have to keep that in mind. But Earth's magnetic field is also very powerful because it's an entire planet. The entire planet is magnetized in the inside, in the core. So if you dug a hole in Canada, say a thousand miles deep, if you could hypothetically do that, you would measure something like 50 Tesla Tremendous, tremendous, powerful magnet at that point. Just like stars, they 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 talk about the the number of Tesla in supernova and 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 dwarf stars and red dwarfs, and and uh, you have to keep that in mind. So, um, Earth's magnetic field is very, very powerful. So here we see the motor in slow motion, and you can count the number of turns if you'd like. I counted 26 turns in two seconds at 132nd slow motion, and that's 780 RPM. So uh, that's about all. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, rumble, and stay tuned.